The SARS new hire reporting option will allow you to create a report that you can view and verify data is accurate before creating a submission file that can be uploaded to the ESRS website to report any new employees, any rehired employees, or any employees who may have, may have had a lapse in service that need to be re-reported to ESRS. There is some criteria that has to be met in order for the employee to be included on the, on the um, SARS new hire file. Uh, one of the pieces of criteria is the uh, 400 record has to have the new employee field mark checked. So we'll go in and look at an employee. And I'll show you exactly what we're talking about. It's this employee. And you can see the new employee record or new employee field has a check mark. So this employee should get included on the new hire report. There's also some other criteria from the position record that needs to be met. And those two criteria are the start date has to be uh, within 180 days of the current date. And the other criteria is the position record has to show the SERS retirement code. So again, the start date has to be at least uh, at, within 180 days of the current date and your retirement code has to be marked as SERS. Once all of that criteria is met, we should be able to go out, to go out under reports, SERS reporting, go over to the sub reports, the SERS new hire report, and we will see our employee is sitting out there waiting to be reported. So I can go in and if I wanted to under the report title, I could change this report title name if I wanted to. Maybe I wanted to put in the date that I'm doing it. I could do that, or I could just leave it as a default SERS new hire report. Um, if I want to create just the report to view to, uh, some of the information that's going to be getting reported, I could cl click the generate report option and pull that report up and take a look at it. And then all of the data on the report is included in the submission file. There are a couple other fields that do get included, but currently they are not on this report. But this will give you a general idea of the, make sure that you know, the employee information is accurate before you complete the submission file. So I'll go ahead and generate the file. When I do that, I can look at the report or the file and see all the information is in the correct formatting and then all of the data is included on the report. And then I can take that file, I can save it to a, a folder or directory of my choosing, and then I can go out to eServe and upload that new hire file. Now, you'll notice on the new hire reporting that employee is no longer on there, which means that we created a file um, to report them to SERS. And also you'll notice on the payroll item, that 400 payroll item, that that new hire or new employee flag, let me go ahead and pull the employee up. That new employee flag now is unchecked. If there's any questions regarding this, we have documentation under the SARS report, SARS new hire reporting that can be looked at. Um, thank you and have a great day.